All right, so today we're gonna go ahead and wrap up my series on the Movavi Editor 24 with some color grading tips. Now, I've been getting asked a lot of questions on how you use LUTs with Movavi Editor 24. Now, I briefly touched on this when I first did my overview, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you a full-blown tutorial of how I will take footage from log to final in this video. So let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some color grading aspects in Movavi Editor 24. Now, I think for a beginner, if you're using log footage, number one, it's a great way to practice, and number two, it's going to give you the best possible results and the most amount of dynamic range. But having an editing platform that can help you take that footage from log, to Rec 709, or at least the final image is really important. So we're gonna go through Movavi Editor 24 right now. All right, so first step, as always, make sure you go ahead and import your footage. Now I have three clips here that I shot with my DJI Air 3. I have a wide angle clip right here, then I have a tighter shot, which was done with the three times lens. I have another three times lens tracking a boat. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and grade these. These were all shot in D-Log M 10-bit 420. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, if you don't already have the LUT from DJI's website, I highly recommend you go to the website, go under the support tab for the DJI Mavic Air 3 and download the Rec 709 LUT that they provide. It's a free download, it works fantastic. It's a great starting point. And especially if you don't wanna pay for a LUT or you don't know how to use them, there's honestly no harm in just trying it out. So once you have that downloaded, you need to go ahead and import that into Movavi. So to do that, you're gonna go one, two, three, four down, the filters, overlay, effects, and LUTs tab. Underneath the LUTs tab, you have your featured LUTs, you have your favorites, you have free, and then you have my LUTs. Now under my LUTs, you'll notice there's this little plus icon. If you click on that plus icon, you can go ahead and import a LUT directly from there. Now I've already imported my D-Log LUT into Movavi Editor 24. By the way, it also will remember the LUTs that you've inserted in here. And you can also remove them later on just by clicking that little circle X icon located right on the LUT if you want to remove that. Now to apply these to your clips, you're just gonna simply grab the LUT drag it on the clip and you'll see it'll immediately convert the footage. So from here, now we need to do some color grading because you can't let the clip go like this. While we're at a better starting point than we were before we had the LUT, we still need to do some adjustments. To do those adjustments, we're gonna go up here to the uh, color grading window. This is the very last tab. This is under video, it's under color adjustments. You have presets and then you have manual mode. Of course, with the presets, you can go ahead and just hit on one of these and see what it does. Like you can use Magic Enhance. And honestly, Magic Enhance did a pretty good job. I would probably just maybe raise my shadows just a little bit. And if you're somebody who's unfamiliar with color grading, this may be a great way to get a perfect image or close to perfect image right out of the box. The only thing I would do is click on manual and maybe just raise my midtones ever so slightly. To raise your midtones, it's called gamma. And I'm just gonna simply go to gamma and I'm just gonna raise that up just to give it a little bit brighter image. And honestly, I would probably call that done. So the magic enhance literally took most of the legwork right out of me color grading in just one simple click. So it's a lot, magic enhance, and then I made it a little bit of an adjustment just to my taste for the gamma. All right, let's go to this next clip, which was shot on the uh, two times lens, or three times lens, I should say. So this is the three times lens. So same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Rec 709 lot, and it really doesn't do a lot until we go in here and do some adjustments. So once again, we can take a look at magic enhance and see what it does. And again, I think it's doing a really good job actually of getting the image pretty close to where we need it to be. And then from there, you can just tweak it a little bit further by adjusting the brightness. Maybe it's a little too bright. And then maybe we just need to raise that gamma a little bit so it's not so bright. And then maybe you just wanna adjust your saturation a little bit. My only complaint with this is I can't really see what Magic Enhance is doing to these levels. I would love to see what levels it's changing in the manual mode tab, so that way I can adjust it and remember settings moving forward. But honestly, this is just literally almost one click, maybe two click color grading, and look at these two images, how close they are. 
One of my problems with the Air 3 or even the Mavic 3 Pro is that from the wide angle lens to the three times lens, it's always very inconsistent as far as the color goes. So I think this is pretty cool how close this actually matches up and the blues in the skies look pretty good. Now, again, you're not going to be able to really help out help like the lower half of the sky where it's sort of blown out. You're really not going to be able to do much with that. I had clouds in the backdrop. We had the sun coming up. This was shot super early in the morning. I really don't shoot this early in the morning ever, but when you're pressed for time, you got to do what you got to do. So that looks pretty good right here. Let's go to this last clip here. This is me chasing the boat. Now, again, this is going to be a little harder clip, I think. I think. So I'm going to go under my LUTs. I'm going to convert this just like so. Now we have the LUT applied, and let's go to the last tab here. Let's start off with the Magic Enhance. I'm really impressed with this so far. So we'll drop the Magic Enhance, and that doesn't, I don't think that that's working as good as it was. So like I said, the Magic Enhance may not always work, and honestly, that's okay. So I can turn off Magic Enhance, and then I can go back into my color corrections and just go to manual mode. Now for manual mode to color grade this, I would just go ahead and first start off with some saturation, raise my brightness a little bit of the image, not too much, change my gamma a little bit, and then start adding contrast. Now the contrast is what's gonna add the depth, and then I'll start changing my hue a little bit. So I wanna lean more towards that green because I feel like that's how the image actually really looked in real life. This clip could have just been my fault for not really exposing it correctly. Um, D log M is, is really difficult to work with, but that's about, I think as close as you'll get to where it should be or what I saw in real life. Again, these first couple of clips, magic enhance. I did, I think magic enhance did amazing on these first couple of clips, getting them pretty close to where I feel like that's an acceptable image. And then, of course, this one, a little bit harder. Now, it's also really important, too, something I didn't do for this shoot is I didn't really set my white balance manually. So what I could do is we could also adjust our white balance. So underneath the color adjustments tab here, if we go back, we go to presets. We should have an auto white balance. Let's see if this corrects things. No, it didn't really work too well. Sometimes it's hard with blues and greens. Um, it just really is pretty hard. Let's see if this will do anything. Now, it's still not doing anything. The Magic Enhance, I mean, it works in some images. It doesn't work in all instances, so you will still need to do some manual adjustments. And again, I think this is pretty close to where I would want it. I don't think that's too bad. Maybe the gamma just needs to come up a little bit. I, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of like sort of brighter shots. But there we go. I think that looks pretty good just like that. And honestly, that's it. So again, if you don't know anything about color grading, you're wanting to dabble with log, you can try this out for yourself. Again, the LUT is free. I'll be, I'll be sure to include the link for the DJI Air 3 LUT. No matter what drone you have from DJI, they offer free conversion LUTs. However, like I said, with conversion LUTs, you do need to do a little bit more legwork, but at least with Magic Enhance, you have, I would say, about a 60 to 70% chance that it's going to do half the work for you. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And if there's another tutorial or something else about Movavi Editor 24 you want to know about, drop a comment down below. I'll be down there responding to questions for a little while. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. As always, stay original. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't yeah, no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money to...